everybody, I'm Nicole Burgers with the Kelly Davies Homes team, brokered by Landro Fox Cities Realty. And today I'm dressed for fitness as I brought you to Dairyland Fitness for this week's episode of In the Know in the 920. Let's go in and meet the owner. We are inside with the owner, Marie McCarthy, at Dairyland Fitness. Marie, can you tell us uh, when Dairyland Fitness got started? Dairyland Fitness at this location, I've been open about a year. Okay. Um, I've been in the gym business for longer. I had a gym prior to this for three years. My main mission is to just help people feel better. Okay. And whatever that means to you. I wanted to do more individualized attention. So I do more one-on-one, -on -one, two-on-one. Um, smaller groups, maybe like families. I work with a lot of families yeah. and their kids. It's super, yeah. super fun. We do have a lot of unique tools in the gym, like the sandbags, um, um, sleds. We do a lot of ropes, some things that are outside of what you might see in a traditional gym okay. that people um, can work with and get really good workouts with. I do take special interest in people that have been through injuries. I've been through on myself. So that kind of intrigued me over the years, like how do we stay active even though we have aches and pains? Yeah. So I do love to do that. And that's just part of me wanting to help someone feel better and improve their life. Um, and so it can be even on the nutritional side as well. Some people maybe their bodies don't hurt, so they want to come in, they want to get good workouts, but I'll help them with their nutrition and their lifestyle, like get more sleep, reduce their cravings, and things like that as well. So it's not just about the fitness, it's the, the person as a whole. Really love the sandbag pickup. Um, when you pick it up off the floor, and I'll teach people this in one of their first sessions, creating tension in the hamstrings and the glutes before you pick it up and allowing those muscles along with your abdomen to do the lifting so that the back isn't doing anything. And it, it seemingly looks simple. You just pick it up, Kind of get it in your lap, wrap your arms around it, and then you're gonna hold it against your torso like this. So this bag weighs 60 pounds. I have a lighter one that's 45. Um, so if I have someone that we're not sure of what size bag they're gonna lift, we start light and then we kind of build our way up as we gain strength. But you can squat with them, you can walk with them, you can throw them over your shoulder, um, you can throw them over an object like the yoke that I have down on the other end of the gym so you can you can throw them this way. There's multiple different things. You can clean them and you can press them up over your head. There's so many things that you can do with the sandbag and it's one of my favorite tools in the gym. We built on our property, which is super nice. I can just walk right outside the door, but we do flip tires and um, obviously the sandbags would mimic um, some of the work that farmers do and we do farmers carries. We have some implements in the gym that we pick up and we carry them in each hand. So, the farmers carry and uh, we get ropes out and we've been doing rope pulls and stuff in the in the yard and we'll get um, toys out and play with them outside all the time the sleds and yeah all so sorts a of stuff. real unique setup here when you're in the gym doors are open you've got mm -hmm. airflow just a really nice setup out here Marie thank you for taking the time today to highlight your business for in the know in the 920 if you want to contact Marie in regards to fitness, overall health, you can contact her at dairylandfitness at gmail.com.